All right, Shalom. First and foremost, our praises, our glory, and our honors going to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukhaka Dash, the Lord Honest, the Apostles, the Elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Hopeful Elect. There's another edition of GMS News and Prophecy. And um, a few articles I want to go into. Basically, uh, the topic is um, uh, the stimulus and the universal basic income will lead to the microchip implant. Um, and they're setting everything up now for this infrastructure, uh, for this uh, this new development. You know, they've been giving out um, thousands of dollars to different, to basically everyone in America at this point, pretty much all of America. And uh, they're looking to stimulate the people again, you know. So this is... Uh, from Forbes.com, stimulus proposal, $2,000 monthly payment plus $1,000 per month until one year after crisis ends. All right, this is from uh, April 22nd, 2020. And uh, let's see here, there's a point that, that I want to get, but I'm going to get the overall uh, premise. Let's see here. All right, now it says it's been updated. Uh, May 7th, so there's new information on here. Let's see. It says the CARES Act provided many Americans with financial relief in the form of a $1,200 stimulus check. But as that program rolls out, it has become apparent to lawmakers that more financial assistance is needed. There are currently several proposals from various lawmakers that will provide Americans with ongoing financial support. You can learn more about current proposals here. So that's the premise. Okay. So now this is what I want to get. It says the payments would be made via direct deposit. Now this is a one, one um, proposal that they have out here. It says the payments will be made via direct deposit if the Treasury has the individual's banking information on file. That's how a lot of us have gotten that uh, $1,200 um, stimulus check. Some got them actually uh, 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 mailed to them, but a lot got direct deposit. Now, it says, unless the individual would prefer to have their payment made on an interim boost card. Okay? So, they would actually give you a card that the money would would um, would um, be direct deposited on, okay? Or prepaid on. And this is uh, the point that I want to get out of this article that... Um, they're going to ease in alternative methods to giving you this money, okay? It says the boost card will be a prepaid debit card that will not be subject to any fees, penalty charges, or usage restrictions. The full amount will be available for immediate withdrawal at any ATM in the country without any usage or withdrawal fees. Individuals who do not have banking information will receive their payments via a boost card, okay? So this card, putting the money, this uh, stimulus um, money on that card is going to lead to the microchip implant. All right. It's just, it's, it's, it's just another device. OK. Now, you're already currently getting it on your, you know, your, your, your actual banking debit card. OK. When you get a check, uh, you know, you run to the bank, deposit the check in your uh, account and then your 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 regular banking you know um, card would be you know a use to to make payments if need be you know so what's another device um, that would be used just like the microchip implant is another device that's going to be used ultimately inside your body for you to buy and sell okay now, this is what is going to lead me to what I want to bring out about the universal basic income. You know, the Pastor Hari spoke about the UBI or the universal basic income. And what they want to do is basically they want to give give people this money. OK, um, you know, basically uh, uh, every month. OK. Um,
So now, see here. All right. So now this is uh, on the basic income, right? And this is in, uh, of course, Wikipedia. So it says basic income, also called universal basic income, citizen's income, citizen's basic income, basic income guarantee, basic living stipend, guaranteed annual income on universal demigrant. As a governmental public program for a periodic payment delivered to all on an individual basis without a means, test, or work requirement. So they would just be giving away this money for, you know, to help people through hard times. And it's going to be gradually, it's going to be as long as you're into the system. Okay? Because the scripture says now when it comes down to the mark of the beast, you won't be able to buy or sell unless you have you know, the mark, the number of its name, uh, you know, so forth and so on. So you're going to have to be tied to this system some way, somehow. This is why when they gave out the initial um, stimulus payment, you know, you had to basically uh, um, send in your bank information. You had either done your 2018 or 2019 taxes. There was a way, there was a, a, um, uh, a, uh, a requirement in order to get this this um this uh check okay or this um um monthly debit payment okay it says basic income can be implemented nationally regionally or locally an unconditional income that is sufficient to meet a person's basic needs at or above the poverty line is sometimes called a full basic income while if it is less than that amount it is sometimes called partial uh, a welfare system with one some characteristics similar to those of a basic income is a negative income tax in which the government stipend is gradually reduced with higher labor income. So it's basically a welfare system, okay? And they basically, they're taking care of of um, other people. Now, the scripture says, all right, now the scripture says that the that Israel will be nourished um by the serpent, you know, from the face of the serpent, right? Yep. Revelation 12 and 14. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness. Now, that woman is talking about the Israelites, all right, the nation of Israel, flying, flying into the wilderness, which went into Africa. All right, all right, we fled into the western coast of Africa after 70 AD, into her place, in the place of America, where she is nourished for a time, and times and half a time from the face of the serpent. And Esau has been nourishing our people through the welfare system, WIC, TANF, you know, different programs, uh, you know, Section 8 and, 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 you know, things like that, giving us these jobs. But now the serpent's getting ready to come down with great wrath. He say, okay, if you really want to be a part, uh, uh, if you want to continue to, be, you know, be nourished and get this welfare, then you're going to have to continue on in this system and you're going to have to, to, to eventually take the microchip implant, okay? And we know that he's going to do it. He knows that he's going to do it. Um, he can deny, the, you know, because Esau's been trying to deny things in the news articles and things about, oh, uh, well, Bill Gates is not pushing a vac you know, a vaccine with a microchip. And look, the microchip is coming, Clearly, okay? And according to scripture, that's the mark of the beast. Okay? So they've been nourishing our people for a time. Matter of fact, even when you go into Deuteronomy uh, 28, all right, it says the want of all things. Okay? We would have to be nourished by our enemies for the want of all things. All right? Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies with the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, all right, uh, shall sin against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in one of all things. So if we want to buy food or water, we got to go to the store, these Walmarts and Whole Foods. All right, uh, um, you know, that's that's part of the curses that Esau, you know, he supplies us, you know, with his, um, his grocery stores. But now getting, you know, without these jobs and things that, you know, that are, that were once booming because of this uh, uh, COVID-19, you know, 
Um, now they want to give out these stimulus packages and they're talking about a universal basic income. Well, that's the serpent. All right. You know, providing you with everything. All right. And in nakedness, you know, clothes, shelter and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Now, we went through the the point of having a, um, a yoke of iron around our neck um, during the time of uh, chattel slavery, you know. But now he wants to use this microchip as a way to continue to have that yoke and ha- and keep our, uh, uh, our people in slavery, you know. So this is all a part of his plan, okay. And... Instituting, you know, you you know, universal basic income. That's something that um that um is going to uh is is going to um you know basically be a uh um well they eventually wanted to be the norm, you know, you know based on certain. On certain uh, conditions, okay. Um, let's see. Now, also too, now by by giving out all this money, that's going to lead to what an inflation in the market. There's there's so many dollars, you know, going out into the, um, you know, into the, uh, you know, the system. That's going to eventually lead to the devaluing of the dollar, right? And that um, happened, you know, in history. And a lot of times that we bring, all right, so this happened in um, in the Weimar Republic. From feed.org, it says, what Weimar Germany teaches us about universal basic income. All right, it says, Germany tried paying people for not working after World War One. It didn't turn out so well. This is from a... May 19, 2020, right? So it says, massive government debt, sky-high unemployment, the economy frozen, idle workers receiving payments from the government. This might sound like COVID-19, but I'm actually talking about post-World War I Germany. Okay? Um, so this is basically uh, what had happened. Now it says... Um, Let's see. I'll just I'll get these bullet points. Um, it says if your high school history teacher skipped their story, here's a bullet point recap. Germany lost World War I in 1918. Great Britain and France punished Germany with huge fines. Germany resented the fines and defaulted on their payments. France got fed up and in 1923 invaded Germany's coal rich Ruhr Valley to extract payments themselves. Germans offered nonviolent resistance. German coal miners refused to work for the French occupiers and the German government printed even more money to pay the miners so they could feed themselves and their families. This is the same thing that's going on right now. Uh, Fast forward to 2020. Massive government debt. Check. Entire sectors of the economy frozen. Check. Large portion of population unable to work. Check. Government giving handouts. Check. Calls for more handouts. Check. Pick any Western country, and this will be a pretty accurate description of its current state. All right. So basically, what you had was hyper, hyperinflation. Okay, and I'm not going to go all into this article. Um, so let's see here. It says finally. There are those who say we should just print money and give it out to everyone. But there's a cemetery of economies full of countries who've tried just that. Zimbabwe, Venezuela, interwar Germany, and even the Roman Empire. Because we know that this system that we're in with NATO, the U.S., all right, this is the Roman Empire all over again, all right, reincarnated all over again. Economic welfare is not how much money you have, but what you can buy with it. If you continue printing money, sooner or later, money will lose value. Okay, so therefore, there would be uh, 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 inflation because of how much money is going out. Okay. Um, Let's see here. 
It says, admittedly, there are many factors involved that can mask inflation. Uh, example, given falling oil prices, it could take much longer for the U.S. to get there than in the war of Germany. But the basic mechanism is the same. So them giving out this money is going to lead to what? The, the devaluing of the dollar. So now what, what's going on right now is all these governments are doing what? They're, they're, even the U.S., they're moving towards introducing central bank digital currencies, which is going to replace the U.S. dollar as the world reserve currency, uh, as paper money, and everyone's going to be given money uh, or have to buy and sell through the microchip implant. That's the new system that they're um, developing right now, okay? Um Let's see here. Yeah, and that's the point. This isn't really nothing that I want to bring out, but but that's the point, you know. Um, this um, this um, universal basic income and these these uh, these um, this um, stimulus package that they're, that they're pro- proposing. Putting it on a, a a boost card, you know, you know, having to put 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 on this interim boost card, that's going to lead to the microchip implant, because people are want to are going to want to be able to buy, sell, and, and 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 feed themselves and their families, you know. And Esau is willing to do that if they worship the beast, you know. But uh, I just want to bring the information out. Hope it was edifying. I want to give all praises, all glory, and all honors unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Akakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.